All right. Ow. Man, hair in my eye. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Crazy. I just want to see what is going on. Is it my finger? All right. Let's just get it going. Let's just start doing this. All right. I don't know what the hiss is in my audio. It's annoying me. Um. It's Monday, it's Memorial Day, we got the day off. So hopefully you're remembering why you get to do the things you get to do because you know, freedom! Yeah! And um, all that stuff, because it is important and uh, all that. But I tell you what, it's hard for me to even stay focused right now because I don't have my coffee. Coffee is ready to be brewed, but you need coffee filters to brew coffee. And they're out, so that sucks. Couple other things that suck. You may notice that the screens are black. Yeah. Don't know what's going on. The computer just doesn't want to work right now. I can't even get it to boot up. It's seriously driving me crazy. I spent about six hours trying to read through forums, reboot, do everything that I could, go through recovery mode. <sighs> I really don't know what I'm gonna have to do. I didn't want to have to figure out what I need to figure out, I guess. And now it looks like I have to figure it out. It'll reboot that bad boy. But I'm wondering if the issue's bigger. Might have to sign up for one of those genius appointments. Woohoo! Seriously, such a bummer. I need to get some things done, and I can't. I mean, I still got my laptop. My laptop's running like a champ. Run strong like a champ, aren't you? Yeah, she's running good. She's running good. I don't want to have her update again because I, th I think that's what messed that one up. I don't know if that's really what did it or not, but it was something. Woo! So hopefully everyone's been having a fantastic week, weekend, end week, weekend, and an extra day. So did manage to get out and do a few fun things this weekend. Ooh. Went out to go see Guy Ritchie's new film, Aladdin. You might have heard of this one. I really went in trying to be fully purged of all my previous Aladdin experiences and attachments. I thought he did pretty good clearing out all three movies, the cartoon show, and just trying to forget Robin Williams. Okay, so it was hard. I tried though, really. Really hard, I did. I went into it looking like it was just like a, a live action play. Like I was just going in and, you know, instead of it being a screen, I was looking at a stage. That was almost the correct way to go about it because wow, it was quite lackluster, I have to say. And I didn't even have that much prejudice against it. In fact, I think I liked it better than the person I went with. And they were super jazzed to go see this movie. I had to watch it with a lot of forgiveness. Cause man, the pacing was all weird. Things felt rushed. The wrong things felt too slow. They were skipping and moving around all the parts of the story. Two new songs. And let me tell you, they weren't great. Actually, that uh, that second new song was, it was bad. It was pretty bad. Everything that they were, it's just no good. Will Smith as the genie didn't piss me off as much as I thought it was going to. Still very lackluster. But in the end, that's pretty much exactly what the movie felt like. It didn't even feel like a Guy Ritchie film. It felt very staged and very Mamma Mia. But with Will Smith! So yeah, with the action and stuff involved, it kind of felt like a Will Smith movie. Only in this movie, Will Smith was Dr. Manhattan. Something like that. You know what I mean, he was blue and he did things. Meh. The truth is, I don't even know if it was worth seeing in the theater. The original cartoon from Disney was just so complete. It felt like it had everything that it really needed in the story. And this one just felt like it had some holes and didn't really... You're Disney, you can weave things better together. You know, you got money, so take the time. What else? What else? Other things that went on this weekend. So Saturday got together with Nick T, aka Nick Taylor, aka Nick Teasy, aka Dick Slapovich, aka other names. It's all the same person. Went to high school with this guy. Anyway, he came over and we did a podcast, so be on the lookout for that. Please, computer, just work so I can edit that together. I want to get it out to my friends. Yeah, that would be great. No, we did. We talked about some interesting things and you might want to hear them. So be sure to check that out when it gets released. I'm assuming Thursday, fingers crossed. That was about it for Saturday, except there is one other thing that I guess I could bring up because it pimped me today. Ooh, <laughs> get pimp on, man. Get pimped. You get pimped. Not in a good way. When is pimping in a good way? All I know is pimping ain't easy. You know what's even crazier? I think I got my days mixed up on the weekend. It's close to the holiday, I'm sure. Either way, these are all things that I did. I just, you know, when they were out on the timeline, <laughs> can't remember, but they were there. What was I saying about pimping? Oh yeah, that wardrobe. Yeah, yeah, I did some laundry and 
Ended up getting busy, got left in the washer for a while. That's okay. Ended up throwing it in the dryer, being like, yeah, this stuff's gotta get dry. Apparently I forgot to turn the dryer on. I don't know how that's possible. I'm usually pretty good with that kind of thing. I threw the clothes in there, so I hit the button, right? You know, that's kind of what I was thinking I would have done. Apparently I didn't. So I went in there today and they all smell funky now, so. I guess I get to rewash those. <laughs> oh yeah, all right, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna wash those those clothes today. That's I guess what I'm doing on my Memorial Day is having clothes to wear. All right, but seriously though, yesterday got together with my buddy Brett Beauclair. We headed out to the theater to catch the early show of Burn Bright. That's right, Burn Bright. Not Bright Burn. No. Wait. Burn Bright? Bright Burn. Bright, bright Burn. Like. I think I called it wrong in my last vlog and I called it Burn Bright. And that's not the name of the movie. The name of the movie is Bright Burn! Like a town. That they they called it Bright Burn. Yeah! So that's the name of the movie. Now that we got that all right. Bright Burn. Because it's bright and then it burns. Although it makes sense if it burns and then it's bright too, I but that's not what it's called. Very interesting movie! It was really kind of slow. Follow those old school horror movie kind of slow burning experiences. It's like the crazies. Do you guys remember that movie? Crazies was a good movie. It's just that old school horror movie pacing. So it felt kind of weird and drawn out at times. Very cool and interesting at other times. A little splash of gore here, a little splash of gore there. Very quick though, very quick. You blink, you miss the gore. But it was cool gore when you did get to see it. As well as the whole premise of Superman being basically a bad guy. We're not saying like Superman is a bad guy. We're saying what if that whole such Superman situation came and it comes crashing down to earth for a family that really wants a kid and they Take him under their wing, so to speak. And then the kid starts realizing, hey, I'm not like any of these mother... I'm not like anyone around here. I'm far superior. I'm strong. And you don't want to make me angry. So... You know, all that kind of stuff happened. I was actually quite impressed once I heard that the budget was between like seven and 11 or seven and 12 million dollars. That's like really, really small. I know, I know, right? You'd be like, hey, if I got seven million dollars, I'd be like, I'm rich, baby. It's just not that much money in the movie world. Like at all. I mean, hell, I think it can still be considered independent. I wonder what the cutoff for that is anymore. All I know is that what I know of movies, when I walked out before looking it up, I thought that they had at least 35, 40 million dollars wrapped into this picture. So when I seen seven to 12 million, I thought they did very good. Now I was also confused because I thought James Gunn directed it, but he didn't direct it. He was just the executive producer. It was also written by his brothers. So it was all this kind of cool thing. And seriously, some of the action scenes were really good. Like they really put all the money on the screen. It was a fun watch. Would I recommend going to the theater to see it? <laughs> I don't know if it's theater worthy. It's very interesting, but honestly, the movie never really gave me any moments that make it worth going to the theater. There was really no big jump scares. There was really no big gore, you know, action wasn't all crazy. Nothing ever really felt like, oh man, this is a movie theater experience. I'm so glad I seen this. That goes for either of the films, like totally. So in the end, I'm gonna have to say that Brightburn was better than Aladdin. Although they were two completely different films, they were both still kind of, me. Just me. That's what they were. Just. Whew. Oh man. So hopefully you guys get out, enjoy a parade today, or do something. Cook it out. Get the dogs and the burgers on the grill, son. Mm mm. Maybe a brat too. Whatever you do, take advantage of this beautiful day. Spend some time with family and do some things. Don't just lock yourself inside and watch Netflix. I know that I got to get out of here and get some damn coffee filters. Need my Joe, yo. Can't even believe I'm functioning with this high octane energy. Is it high octane? I don't even know. I don't even feel like I'm here right now. My dreams were all crazy. I'm so frustrated with my computer not working. Ah! I'm Dan and you've been watching the Finding Lost Vlogs. Number 47. 47. All right, you guys have a kick-ass day. Get out there, do some things. Peace, I'm, peace, I'm out of here. Guess I'll just use my hand.